Welcome back, y'all. We are ready to continue on. Storm has died down, which is great. And then uh, on top of that, we're full. Oh, I did learn that deer is going to be a better source of calories than wolf. The wolf was at 770. And the deer was at, uh, I think, 900, typically. So anyway, that was nice, but we ate on up. And, uh, yeah, we're good. So, continuing on. I really wish your your health... Like, I don't know why your health doesn't gradually go up over time. That's, like, one thing that's been bothering me for a while. You know, you... We have, uh... You know, we, we have, like... We're not exhausted. Our, uh... We're not hungry. We're not thirsty. We're warm. But despite that, our general health takes, like, ages to get back up. I don't know why. I feel like it should get up faster, you know? Uh-oh. Sounds like Mr. Wolf wants to get shot in the face. I mean, he probably doesn't want to get shot in the face, but that's what's going to happen if he comes anywhere remotely close to me. So I heard what sounded like a partial howl, and then nothing, so... Not sure uh, where Wolfie is at, but... Why? Why? You could have just kept... You could have just kept running! You just kept running. There's <sighs> not feeling so cocky now, huh? I mean, it's a bear, dude. No, it took was for me to go full on Grizzly Adams. I better get out of here before he comes back. I don't even know what that dialogue was. You're not feeling so cocky now, are you, bear? I better run like a bitch before that bear comes back. Like, what? What? <laughs> Did you really just talk shit to the bear? And then promptly decide that you had to haul ass because it was going to beat your ass if you stuck around? Come on, Mackenzie. Who's writing these lines? Alright. Exit this and just, uh... Trek on across, basically. For those curious for lunch, I got uh, two flatbread sandwiches from Tropical Smoothie. Uh, one of them, the Chipotle chicken flatbread, which is like chicken, bacon, chipotle mayo, romaine lettuce, and tomato. Quite good. Uh, and the other was a chicken pesto. What? What? Why? 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 You were fine. Why did you just sprain your fucking ankle? Fucking people, man. Guy died, can't even walk right. A fall? We did not fall! This is some bullshit. Literally just walking along. Oh, my ankle! Nothing happened! I don't know. Maybe it has to do with, with walking on slightly tilted ground, but... Ugh. So, before I was interrupted by the ankle, I also got the chicken pesto. Which is like chicken pesto. Um, I think, there's, think there was mozzarella on it. And then a uh, Bahama Mama smoothie, which is like strawberries, banana, into white chocolate. It's good shit. They like opened this place uh, down the street from where I live a little bit ago. I'd say maybe six months back. And it has quickly become. One of my mainstays for when I need a quick meal for lunch. Because the food is consistently good, and I like smoothies. Plus there, it's like I get, like, the the price of the, the flatbread plus a smoothie is, like, how much you typically spend going out and getting, like, a burger with, like, a nice tea or something. And, uh, I mean, I'll take a smoothie over an iced tea any day of the week. Is that my cabin? Is that the cabin I seek? No, that's... 
That is not the cabin I seek. That is a different cabin, but I'm pretty sure I gotta go this way anyway. Don't go spraining your ankles now. You're almost there, Mackenzie. Yeah, I'm back. By the way, I polished your gun up to 100%. Got a shitload of supplies, threw out a magical flashlight. Uh, forged a spear. Never would have thought to look here. Legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for your sake. Yeah, the bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I did. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to light. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music. Talking. I think it needs more range. More powerful signal. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, I might be able to get a message out. Let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get Why is that in crazy. quotes? I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie. That's probably a, it's probably a vet. Series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Now, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that would serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Well. You get me two, maybe three of those. And I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm going to become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's Bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. Hmm. Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But, there's definitely a bear out there, and he's definitely interested in you. You'll just have to take your chances. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cabin. Damn it! You think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! Please, Mackenzie, get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay, I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder parts. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along the way, and I'd really kind of like to find her back. <laughs> don't forget about the wolves. Let's get on with it. Signal to noise. Oh, man. That's a cash. Well, looks like we're 
even again. Oh, Christ. So we gotta shoot all the way down there. There's a cache. From there, we'll probably go to the old Spence homestead and rest. Over to this one. Cut back across to the north, and then we can go to the camp. I think that's probably the best course of travel. Oh, man, that sounds like a lot of bullshit, man. That is a lot of bullshit. Oh, is this... Oh. I think this was all my own shit that I dropped. Yeah, it was. Well, away we go again, I suppose. Nope, hang on. Last time I did that, my dude went and broke his leg trying to get down. There's gonna be a bunch of wolves though, that at least gives me a consistent food source. I'll be honest though, not really a fan of after making that big ass trek to get the spear being essentially sent back out in the wilderness on what is literally a glorified fetch quest. Go back to the long empty zone that has limited shelter and go to three points that are essentially corners of the map and find me parts and then come back. I don't know if these are my footprints from before. They gotta be, right? Almost there. At least there's no winter storm. My cold's, uh... Or not my cold, but my temp's holding very well. So we got that going for us. First stop is gonna be to the south. I doubt we'll get all three of these in one episode just because they're like you know, differing points along the map. But, um, at the very least, we can make our way down. We'll grab the south and then possibly make it.
to like the Spence homestead. This incline. Last time I was on an incline, my character sprained his ankle. Which is bullshit, because it said I fell, even though I did not fall. Might be waiting for uh, daylight once we get to this first tower. Assuming I can like make a fire there and put out a bedroll. Oh, fuck. That's it. That's it all the way up there. I suppose it's time to start looking for a way to scale up this mountain. Given the size of it, I would assume there's a switchback trail around here. Probably, yeah. I'm thinking we gotta go out towards where the cache is. And we'll make our way up. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Yeah, no shit. Deep, but I think that's my best bet. Oh, hey, right, maybe. Is this really going to loop all the way around? So that would be really nice. Anybody else? Huh? You better haul ass.
I don't know if the wolves came out because it's night. But, uh, it seems like a good as area as any to start a fire and camp out. Just shot one in the face. That'll make him go away. Get a f oh, god damn it. I have no tinder. Son of a bitch. I can probably craft up some, um... Stick, newsprint, news roll. Jesus Christ. Out on a mountain and I have no stick. Something's gotta go. There we go. Plug. Just use this. I don't feel like. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Relax. For that. Um, craft up some more tinder plugs so I don't run into that issue again. Still overweight. What do I want to get rid of here? Uh, weighs so little, it doesn't really matter. Let me. Mm. Cloth. My cloth is almost a kilo of cloth. Let's do some. Uh, pair up anything we can. Thirteen minutes. Um, wait. Oh, hang on. It looked like that was auto equipping. Oh. Oh, it's an accessory. All right. I'll keep it. Seven minutes. Uh. Might as well. Got time to waste. Okay, we'll eat this up. We will eat this one. And, uh... Cook the snow. 
cook the meat. Drink to your heart's content. Um. Sleep for an hour. Thirty-three minutes until boiled. We'll wait. I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna sleep for another hour. Uh, yeah. Fire is. Take it. Sleep another hour. I don't know if the fire will get through the night, but I think between the clothing and the bedroll, I'll probably be warm enough that I can just sleep without worried about it. We'll take that. Water, melt snow. Um, yeah, I'll need two hours to get this all the way through. Um... I'll take care of it, and that'll keep the fire going. Coal is crazy good, man. Alright, we are looking real good there. Um, I need to drop something. Sleep for six more hours. That'll combat all our fatigue. We'll drink the water down, and then we should be good. Tell you what, the uh, these angry wolves coming after me—they're working out in my favor, because uh, every time I kill a wolf, that's three kilos of meat. Okay, and where am I dropping weight? Where are we dropping weight? Um, drop the torch. Um, drop those. I'll do that stuff. I could drop this. I mean, the gun has been repaired, but I could get a couple more uses out of it. Uh, I'll do tools. I need to lose a whole kilo and a half. Who's that? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, it's because of that. Are we hungry? We're not. Oh, damn. Oh, what? There's, oh, so I ate most of it. There's 54 calories left. Let's get rid of that. That. Still a kilo over banged up. Summit, summit. Moldy. Drop it. New salty. Stale. Drop it. Milk opened. Keeps forever. Uh, uh, I'll drop that. And then... Uh, prepared. Prepare. I want those around in case I do want the tea. I want the meds and the antibiotics. Shit. I don't know what to get rid of. Uh, I already threw out my crowbar. Um... Shit. I don't know. I need everything. Like, I've just enough tin. I, mean, I, I guess I could lose some more of this, but it's only 0.25. I need my gun, obviously. I need water. Maybe I drop, drop a liter of water. 
Yeah. To my best bet. All right. Oh, God damn. We're at 30 minutes again. All right. Well, we're going to wrap up here. We made it to the first tower. We got to go back down. There's still that, uh, that cache I could hit. So we'll figure it out now. But anyway, stay tuned. And I'll catch you guys later with more.